Good morning everybody, it's wee Paddy from Across the Shock and uh, I'm coming with you another wee video this morning I don't know why I say that every time but I do anyway Now, something's different with my uh, my setup this morning Yes, you will see this in front of you This is a new YouTube channel This is a fella that I started correspondence with on uh, Instagram which was new to me at the time as well and and he had got chatting and he was very kind to me and, and donated a, a, a knife to my channel. He didn't have a YouTube channel, just Instagram. So a really generous gift for somebody who doesn't even, go, you know, doesn't have a YouTube channel. But um, a lovely, lovely fella. I mean, I know we're all going to say that because somebody's given us a gift. But in this case, it's genuinely true. He has put up his first um, video a couple of days ago. Um which is an absolute, for somebody's first video, it looks like something a production company would be proud of. It's unbelievable. I think it's great. And I'm very excited to what his future is going to be. I believe he has a really bright future in the EDC world. He has some lovely knives, which I have seen over on Instagram. He goes by the same name on Instagram, same as myself. Uh, if you're not on Instagram, please go there because there's some great great channels on instagram that don't necessarily want the youtube channel but like showing off their knives and like to watch other people's knives so please get over there if you're not there so today this video especially i'm, I'm doing this video with the intention of plugging everyday city carry so for my subscribers which who i know are very loyal very great um supporters of my channel i am so lucky could i ask you to pop over He's got his first video up on YouTube, Everyday City Carry. Go over, have a look at his channel. See what you think of his first video. Keep reminding yourself that when you go to see it. His first video. And if you like him, give him a subscribe and give him a bit of support and a bit of the YouTube uh, just community love. Um, bring him into it. Um, I think he'll be a great addition to it. So, now, what am I going to do a video on this morning? I'm going to do a video on slip joints which is probably not the most popular video on American or um, places where the laws for knives are not as strict as ours. I live in Northern Ireland, which comes under UK law, and that means that we're not allowed locking knives because they're more dangerous than a slip joint. I just don't know how, but they are apparently. So there is certain occasions where... I'm not going to say I flaunt the law. I don't. I'm not. I'm not going to say that on camera because that's not good for for younger viewers. I don't want them to think that. I have a few slip joints and I've been picking up a few to carry when I'm going to places that there's a chance I might get searched or there's a, they wouldn't be well received if I brought one out and used it. Now, if I'm going into the forest, I'll not take one. And there's certain other places where I'll take a normal knife. Um, I'm an old boy, so I can get away with a whole lot more. People tend not to come over and want to search old boys. So there we go. So today, what I've got for you, I've, I've picked three. And the three newest ones I have. And the three that I would recommend for anybody. Don't forget, slip joints were out long before the locking knife was. So And they done for years upon years before the locking knife came along. So there's nothing wrong with them. And as long as you use them correctly, there is absolutely no danger in a slip joint. It's only when it's bad use. And hopefully if you're going to give one to a younger child, you'll teach him how to use it. Like I do my grandchildren. He has got slip joints and he's never cut himself. I hate saying that, but he has never cut himself. <laughs> I have lots of times. But here we go. It's a wee quick video on three slip joints that I've got that I would recommend for anybody to have. And these are secondary knives. And if you follow my channel, I'm a great believer in having a second knife. Now, be it one that you can slip in your fifth pocket. I have them like a ladybug. Uh, great wee knife, absolutely sharp as a razor. And I'll slip that down into my fifth pocket. It's a locking blade. But like, you know, what judge is going to give me a big lengthy jail sentence? For a ladybug, not much. So for me, at my age, it doesn't matter. But these are ones that are a wee bit bigger than a, a fifth pocket ones. These are ones that can actually do a bit of work. That if you're in an office environment or you're at work and somebody says, give us a knife. 
I'll give him one of the, I'll give him this. My good knife's in my other pocket. And I don't like giving my good knives out to people who I don't know whether they like knives or whether they know how to use them. So a slip joint, I'll tell them it's a slip joint so they don't have to worry about a locking mechanism and how to do it or flicking it out. These are good, solid slip joints. They're all from the one company and it's San Ramu. Now, as knife people, we know that this is San Ramu's speciality. It's small knives that are made extremely well. And to me, they're very safe. They're the ones that I give my grandchildren. So, I mean, if that tells you anything, that's uh, that's me giving my flesh and blood something that I trust in. I have had never had a feeling with one. So maybe people have, but I never have. Excuse me. And the good solid built knives. Now I'm not going to go through all the specs because these are just slip joints. They are just over a couple of inches long. You know, this is the the first one. This is San Ramu. This one, I want you to listen to the 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 spring. I'm going to bring it up closer so you listen to the, the closing action. Isn't that just? And it's it's solid. This one is like a little razor. If I can see it, you can it. When I turn the head on, you can hardly see it. It's like a razor. It's a lovely little knife. This one I use constantly. This one was like another gift, by the way. Um, but I have a smaller one in this exact... They do three different sizes in this. I think this is the medium one. But they are a marvellous knife. You see for opening letters, opening boxes, anything you would use in an office environment, use this and save your good knife. Well, you know, why Why risk dulling your good knife with something else if you're going to put it through a box? This will do small cardboard boxes the whole lot. Yes, it's 8CR13, but, you know, listen to that. I mean, that is, there isn't this, uh, a half stop in this. It just goes straight to the open. But, I mean, you really need some pressure to, to get that to fold on you. But, again, if you're using it correctly and you show the person who's using it, that's the way to do it. This one has a wee knot on it because I have been just throwing this in my pocket. I have a new system which I'm I'm changing quite a lot of my knives to, never mind little smaller ones, even bigger ones I'm changing to, but I'll show you that at the end. So that's the San Ramu. We'll put that up there. That's the San Ramu 7, no sorry, the A148. Sorry that was a bit confusing there. So the second San Ramu is this one. And this one weighs just over an ounce. It's aluminium and this is actually reveals it. Can I just show you that that is actually texture. It's not just a, a color trick. They're aluminium. This one has a three quarter stop, which is this is what San Ramu tend to do. They have a wee three quarter stop and then listen. That is just amazing. A three quarter stop and then down. So there's your three quarter and then down. This one, again, if I turn it side on, it's as sharp as a radar. It's a hollow grind and this one slices like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> this is the sort of one, if you're in a canteen, take out and cut your steak up because it's just, it'll go through it like butter and we know what canteen steak can be like. So this one I highly recommend. Again, I took the, there was a, a pocket clip on it which was um, tipped down, which I don't carry my knives anyway. It was on it, so I took it off. And again, it's got a uh, a lanyard hole here. And I'll show you now in my next one why I'm changing my whole system because I think this is a great, this is a great system I'm going to use anyway. It's very cheap to do. And I will show you it shortly. So that's my first two offerings. And they're just run-of-the-mill EDC secondary carry slip joints. Lovely little knives. I say they're about two and a half inches long. Now, I'll put them over to the side because my third one coming now is in this jean pocket. Now, could you tell me anybody who would know that I have a knife in my pocket? Now, there you are. I've opened the pocket up. Could you tell me that a policeman or anybody would see that there's a knife in my pocket? And the simple answer is no, they wouldn't. But this little clip, this is one of these little suspension clips. Now, it's right and tight it's different when you've got the jeans on it pulls off easier now and out comes a knife so this is a 
absolutely beautiful little San Ramu knife. This is the San Ramu HO2 and it comes in th um, three colours. There's the orange, a blue and I've seen a white one last night. This is lovely. It's a proper little slip joint. There's no uh, pocket clip on this. It's a little hole but this is a suspension clip. I only need one of these and these are little, the keyring. Um, oh, I can't even think of it. The little keyring um, <laughs> circle. So, and I just put that in there and unclip it. And when I want to change my knife, I'll just clip this on to the next knife. So, I mean, that costs, I think they're about 45p on eBay, on Gearbest. They're all really cheap. But this knife, this is the star of my show today. Um, this is the San Ramu HO2. I've said that, haven't I? Now, listen to this one. This one has the... Three-quarter stop. It's not very strong there, I'll have to say, but listen to that. This one, I can actually even get up. If I put the edge of my finger, I can get right up at it. It's a mirror finish on the on the blade. A mirror finish. Um, for such a cheap knife to have a mirror finish. It's The scales are just plastic. They're like, um, they're nearly, it's just see-through plastic with a with a, a bit of texture through the, the, the centre of it. It just looks pretty. It's it's all these knives cost me under seven dollars delivered. So the fit and finish that San Ramu does for seven dollars, you can go into a gas station or a petrol station over here and you can buy these cheap little lighters that are throwaway or lighters, knives that you can just throw away after use. This here will last you years. It will last you years. It's it's your thirteen stainless steel blade and stainless steel um uh, main body so it, it will it really on a hard plastic what's you know what can go wrong with it but this one's a great drop in the pocket because it's a good size working knife this is the same size roughly as a Chris Reeve Manundi now I'm not comparing it to a Manundi but just as a size comparison you've seen them on on YouTube videos all the time comparing the, the size to the bigger ones so that's the sort of size it is a good blade 8 CR13, you have to sharpen it a bit, look after it a bit more, but it's absolutely fine and cuts well. But the star, and remember, this is the dearest one. This is about $7 delivered. Let me turn this around and show you. Look at that. It's got a filed backspacer. A filed backspacer in a $7 knife. Have you ever, ever... I just, how can they do it for that amount of money? And it's evenly done all the way up. It's not just slipshod. It's evenly done all the way up. Different on both sides. So, absolutely. And this, again, it's got the three-quarter stop. And then, good solid closing. All these can be opened. Well, no, this is the only one that can be opened one-handed. The other two can't. But is that not a beautiful knife for $7 delivered? That spine blew me away. And the three models, well, the blue one has got a, I think their spine's actually blue. Um, but that, it's beautiful. And I, I mean, I use that so regularly because it is such a good little knife. And I say, if I'm going out, I'll, I'll take that with me. If I can't carry a, a bigger knife, that's one of the ones that I'll choose to take out. The other two I'll bring in now and we'll just finish on that. It was just a quick video, but it's just to let you know that, you know, yes, I mean, slip joints are not as convenient as maybe um, a locking knife, but there's still a place for them. I mean, they were the first knives that we had. Uh, there was fixed blades and then there was the slip joints and then onto a locking knife. But them three are top quality and I recommend them to anybody. Um, I'll put the the name of the knives in the description for anybody that wants to go over. I got these all from Gearbest. Now, there's other places that sell them. I don't get paid by Gearbest, um, but I got these all from Gearbest. I'll put the, the names of them in the description. Pop over and have a look. They have a huge selection of small knives um, and some that are as beautiful or not as these. So thank you very much for listening. It wasn't really about the knives today, but they are exceptionally good value 
for a slip a slip joint, especially if you're over in the UK. But even in the States, they are good knives to carry in your pocket as a secondary EDC to hand to somebody. The the scariest thing for me is when somebody says, Can I borrow your knife? And I have a, a flick knife or I have a you know a knife that like a an axis lock. I fear for other people when they've got access locks and they try to copy you and they cut the end of their fingers off. So this is ideal to have in your pocket to say, here you are, use that. So, finish rambling. My gosh, I can go off on one. But can I remind you again, this in front of you, everyday city carry would my, anybody that watches this wee video, but especially my subscribers, would you pop over and, and just watch this first video on YouTube? It is amazing. I, you, you won't be disappointed. If you like it, give him a wee sub. That's all I'm asking you to do. If you don't like it, don't give the sub. But you'll like it. All right, take care, folks. Thank you very, very much. Paddy's away. Bye-bye.